Hey, beautiful people, manifestation, manifesting our thoughts and our attention. And why some of us is manifesting trouble, disease, viruses, and demons in our life? Because it starts from our thoughts. You see, your mind gives rational points of view. And while we manifesting negativity or why we manifesting like bad situations because we have a master control in our mind you see we have to master control in our mind so we can manifest good things in our life our intentions are very important your intentions is very important in this life beautiful people so your intentions should be uh, clear like this here with a good purpose Purity. It should be always for the good. Thinking of your neighbors for the good. Thinking of your family for the good. Thinking of everybody in a good light. Regardless of how bad they do. Unless it get that terrible. You have to remove yourself from that demonic, very negative of evil situation. And this is how you move through wisdom. Then once you can remove yourself. You don't go hard on your brothers and sisters. You got to realize that they're sick. So if they're sick and they don't, they feel they don't need your help, just remove yourself from that predicament or situation. So we manifest what we think. Rappers every day manifesting death. People manifest every day what they put out there. But they don't realize that when you talk about your cousin, when you talk about your aunts, when you talk about your family members, and you wonder why that they... Like come against you or why it reverse is because it's what you put out there. I'm a firm nor I'm a nor, not believer. I'm a no, I know what you put out there, you will manifest beautiful people. So be careful of what you speak. Be careful of what you put out there. So always be in a meditative mind state where you just let the energy flow, what people say, let it flow. Because you know that nobody in the human flesh is more better than the other. Everyone had did some error or mistakes. Because we in flesh, we only here to experience and to express and to show our divinity while we in this flesh, beautiful people. We here to show that. And how we do that is master ourselves. Master what we do. Every day, work on yourself. Every day. It's not, you should take a break, not even a second, beautiful people. Because it's all about mastery here. See? Growth is forever. When anybody stop growing, they just stop their universe. You are a walking, talking universe. You got the same elements that the universe and the earth have, beautiful people. The same as this crystal. The same as in your blood. You see? The same as this crystal. The same as you. Like this, you a melanin? Because you know that it got carbon where the purest uh, crystal is carbon. And so we're talking about your melanin. This helps out a lot. The soul's light, the soul's energy. And we are walking crystals around here that are setting off vibrations and frequencies all over the planet. So when you think it negative, you're going to attract that energy. People don't have no problem getting with you or harming you or hurting you because of the energy you put out there. But when you're attracting something powerful, that light, that's on a higher frequency vibration, they're scared of it. They're scared of this energy, beautiful people. They're very scared of this higher vibration. People are scared of it. They're scared of this energy. You can't get mad at them because they don't understand you. They're scared of it. They run. Why? Even pastors run from pe spiritual people. When you're spiritual, pastors, it don't matter if it's e -mans, they run for us because we're spiritual. You see? And they would call me a madman, but I'm speaking in power. I'm speaking... And true, I'm controlling myself because I know how to reverse and, and become calm. But, but this is the spirit in me. So this is called controlling yourself, mastering your lower nature. You got to master yourself. It's okay to error. We get old professionals. Let everybody know it's okay to error. You're in the earthly form. See, you see? A lot of people, they be stuck on professionalism. This is why they lose. You understand? We in the flesh. We in the earthly flesh. 
So we go, we here to experience, we here to express. So we got to understand that we going to make mistakes, we going to make errors. So it's okay, move on. It's okay to do things that they consider was bad, that we know that is good for your health. They tell us we can't sleep. We got to get seven hours of sleep. But really, according to my spirit, according to my intuition, I only need four or five, you see? But some people, according to their spirit or according to their programming, they might need seven hours of sleep. Why I'm saying this, this is an example of the lower nature. When you listen to the lower nature, they'll tell you what is what when you can listen to your own intuition. When you know, you can feel it. I know this food ain't good to eat. If I know this chicken ain't good, I know every time it have me feeling some type of way, I'm going to stop eating it. Ain't no doctor can say, oh, this chicken is good. I'm going to feel it. You see? Because everybody, according to their vibration, know what they can eat. You might don't eat the same thing I eat. You might handle it better than I. You know what I mean? Because we all different expressions. But you, it's, you, it's you who can reprogram yourself to be able to handle anything. And that's how we become strong. You see? We program ourselves to be strong. Program your, yourself into positive activities and things that will help you. You manifest your thoughts. You manifest what you put out there. You, every day we're manifesting uh, either good or bad. And it's according to how you look at it because some situation, you might get somebody trying to cheat you out your money, a medical bill, and, you, and, and things constantly happen back to back. But you think it's bad, but it's not bad, beautiful people. What I'm saying is, some people call it the devil. Oh, God attacking me. Oh, the devil attacking me. Oh, I got bad luck. I done heard all of it. So once you become spiritual, you know there's no such thing. You become calm and you handle the situation. You have control of the self and you problem solve and you bring solutions. See, only those who into religion, another man, law and thinking will say, the devil, the devil is attacking, attacking me or they will say that God is coming against me. All this crazy stuff. You see? Spiritual people know the deal. We know that this energy is out here. So we got to know how to control yourself so you can change the energy, manipulate the energy. You see? Control the forces of nature. So when it do come at you, you know that you got to put in work to overturn it. You see? It don't be no such thing as the God or the devil attacking you when things happen back to back in your life. You see? Because you got to understand, if, if a family member die or anybody die around you, and you doing good, don't think it's your fault, period. Because you got to understand, they're doing their thing too. They're putting out energies, you see? Every day, I speak affirmations. I call mine affirmations. Some people, they call this prayer. Prayer means to beg. No, I speak affirmations and confirmations into the universe to protect my family, to protect my uh, planet and all those who show their love to me. I can't do the whole world. Because we all are different planets that see it for certain people and attract certain people and to help certain people on this planet. If I could help all, and the way I help them is through spirit. That's it. Send my energy off, you see? And it do work. People wonder why they heal so quick. Why they heal so quick? Why they prosper so quick? I think they're mess with me. Because I put the energy out there, you see? I know. But I put to rebuild it all the time and say, I'm the one who, who put the energy out there. No, I just smile because I know, you see, when people prosper. So you be around that good energy, that good light, and people can feel your vibe. There's so many people open up the cane lit, video chat and all, but they never did nobody else. They, they were like, they say, I'm very private, but I trust your energy. I don't have bad energy floating on the internet. I'm going to do me, but at the same time, I'm going to bring service to you, healing Spiritual words, spiritual enlightenment, uplift the soul, motivation, and inspiration. Because this is what it's about. And it ain't too much of that in the world. You got people out there trying to get you. They got to wear dashikis. They got to wear uh, 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 unks. I ain't got to wear none of that. I am the unk. But I still wear it anyway because it do make you realize who you are when you get thrown off. Because sometimes, you know, I get thrown off, but not like I used to. I get back on track easily. It's nothing for me to get back on track. That's why, like, it ain't too much 
that can bother me. But everybody goes through emotions. It's how you control them emotions. You need therapy. You need tactics to and find some type of uh, strategy. It's about strategizing also to control your emotions. So once you get that under control, whatever therapy it is, I'm, I'm even including sex. And that's the topic that people are scared of. That's why I include it a lot. Because topics that people are scared of, it's a shame. They think sex is a bad thing because they were taught that. People actually think they were, they was a sinner, born a sinner. Yeah, you were born in sin. Well, born in sin is born in an earthly plane. That's all sin is. Born in matter form. Born, but as far as a sinner, you born you a lover. You're not no sinner. A baby is innocent, beautiful people. How can a baby be a sinner? A baby don't know. A baby don't know. So I'm a baby, and you calling me a sinner already. I'm destined. I'm destined to fail. You see. All these, you got to have something, proper concepts to replace those that we were taught. Because we were taught in a bad light, you know. But now we know today. It's worldwide. We back. If you look on the internet, you got people tracing their ancestors. Don't, don't know if it's true or not. But still, it gives some people motivation. We need anything that gives positive inspiration, you see. People, people even going back to Africa. Even though some of you don't know the knowledge you know. And some people say, well, you stay right here. Well, how you claim an African? I'm an African-American. What is African-American? I'm an African. It's in my DNA. And I live in America. Just like they got Afro-Brazil. It's still an African. It's your DNA that makes you who you are. Your DNA. It don't matter where you at. You're still going to be an African. Because you will still have some ties to the motherland. Or to somebody. Some people in the motherland. Or around the world that is African. You see? But they come with all this. You can easily break them down because some of them like peanuts. Some of them ain't even worth breaking down because it can hurt their feelings. Only when people ask for it, I give it to them. Some things they can't debate, you know, bring facts. The facts is, I am an African, not born in America. I stay in America. So that makes me what? An African. That's why they say African American. That's cool. And we know that the Indians were what? Africans. And that's why, like, a lot of people, even my neighbors, got Cherokee grandmoms. When I look at their picture, they're African. See? They classify as Africans. You see? That's where your Indians went. They, they extinct. You're talking about your Southeast. They all over now. From New York. But it started Southeast. Was the most popular uh, place. Like Savannah, Charleston, uh, Wilmington uh, Island, uh, North Carolina, and Florida. But now they spread it out. They spread it all over. You see, we know they can tell through your DNA what is what. The DNA is so powerful. How you think they give you X-rays and they can tell like if you' about to die or your lifeline is going down? You see, they gotta understand. It's knowledge, and this knowledge came deep from our ancestors. We got all of that within our being. So understand that whatever you put out there, you create your DNA every day. So your children or your kids, when you have a baby. They're taking on the, the energy that you have right now. So as you continue to grow, you might have super intellectual, super powerful kids. You see? When you recreate yourself right now, geniuses. Because we're taking in this information, we're advancing. Every, every time something gets built, every time new information come out, your DNA is expanding. You see? So every kid is smarter than the next generation. Like, your kids will be smarter than you if they tap into that energy. You see, it's, it's simple if you can help them elevate. You want them to be better than you so, so they can elevate the next generation. You see? Then we won't have all this killing. We can have peace on this planet because when I look at it and I tell the truth, nobody's smarter than the other person in general. Everybody got smartness to them, beautiful people. They say, because you don't know Jeopardy, or you don't know the answers on Jeopardy that you don't. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Whoever created that, of course, they will make it because they created that. I don't know about no 34th president. I don't care. That's why. You see? They call you dumb because of that. You see? I don't know about no when McDonald's first opened. I don't care about stuff like that. You see? But if I created my own Jeopardy, they would lose too. You see? Nobody would get it right. Only a few who went to the culture. You see? So nobody is smarter than the other. You learn from babies. See, they, they taught us to follow our elders. And everybody think you should follow 
the elders that don't have it all. You better follow the elders. No, it's respect them, but I will not follow everything they say and do. And when I know that this ain't the path, you see, wisdom come from everybody. You would know, especially those who are spiritual, you see. And knowledge comes from everything. And this knowledge, what you apply and experiment it, and you see that it worked for you, this is how you do. Like manifestation, I carry crystals all the time. They're great healing uh, sources. They vibrate high, you see. Got so many around my room. Because if you sit, you can feel that it'll make me cough out all of that. I go outside, hold it. I cough out 30 times. 30 times in like 10 seconds. <coughs> and then I'll be healed just that quick. You see? So there's no way for a spiritual person to, to not know how to heal themselves. We had the power. We had the power. See, during COVID, you had no preachers, no E-man could show you how to heal. But you already knew how to heal. You see? You spiritual. You see, that's the difference. We didn't get sick. But those who did get sick, they falling off the path when they should have been stepped the game up and protect their energy. But only to get back on the path is the key. It's not to uh, bash them, but I'm trying to show you that spiritual people has the ups in this race of Corona. We broke it down. You see, grand rising to you, Shauna. Shauna, my girl, Newman. I know you. I know you so well because you've been following me for a while. Appreciate you and love you, sister. I know you're in the spirit, you know what I mean? I look at your profile a couple of times. I don't stay on it. So, but I love you in spirit. The thing is, see, I did not get sick. Okay, that's what's up. Because I tell them, spiritual people know the way. You manifest your attentions. If you think, if you say you're ugly, you're going to start looking ugly. If you if you think this, it's going to be that. Sometimes you got to correct your thought. You got to catch it, check it, and change it. When a negative thought comes up, you got to catch it. Before it get there, cut it off. And put it in check and change them thoughts. You see, even in the mental health group, they came up with that concept that I use because that was so beautiful. And some of the mental health people are some of the greatest people to be around on this planet. And when they see me how I change and how I converted, they were like, I can't believe you, you've, been, you've been on that level. You don't seem like that. You're always happy. You're always uplifting. And they call me like the humanitarian around there because I treat everybody right at that place. So you got to have somewhere where you can teach, somewhere we can get these lessons other than the internet also. Even if it's for your kids or somebody one-on-one -on -one friend who you can chop it up with, keep them vibes going, you know. Early in the morning, keep get a book or something, you know what I mean, so we can dive into. I got books that I get into too. I be all over the place. My man is knowledge, but I wake up. Before I brush my teeth, before I wash my face, I'm on knowledge. I'm either reading a book or I'm seeing what's going on. So you see, information guy. I ain't even got out the bed, but I had to, I had to get out the bed and go to that bathroom and take care of myself eventually. So thank you too, Bridget Lewis. You one of my fans too. You've been following me for a while. I love y'all. Um, that's all I'm saying. Manifestation. You manifesting ill attentions, and you see why you failing because you're not thinking correctly. So what you got to do? Just chop it down. You gonna. People go through things. You're in the earthy plane. We're going to be realistic and practical. You see, some people get too spiritual until they can't be practical. They can't be realistic, and so they fail. This is how they lose because they can't be realistic because they don't fail down. You got to balance it out. You need that practicality in this earth. Some people think that the earth is actually really real. They think the earth is really real, this flesh. But what they got to understand, if it's temporary, how can it be real? The only thing that is real is, is energy, you see? And that's why material things go away. They rush, they, they turn to rust, and they go away. But the spirit never dies. It comes in different forms, even material, you see? So this is how it operates. People think that, that, that this is the real world. I understand to those who are on the earthy plane or lower nature, they call this real, and the spirit ain't real to them. But those who are spiritual, they know that everything is one. Every element is one on different frequencies. The more uh, hot things get, the more the temperature change, the more it might change to water. The more hot it get, the more you see more uh, liquid, liquid, you see? So we know that everything's a part of each other. But those who are early, they only know the earthy plane, the material things, hard working, overworking, 
Never get rest. They can't rest. They don't even meditate. They go through it. They stress. Worry about if their car will get possessed. Worry about if their if their house will get possessed. Worry about the earthly things. And so they wonder why they're failing. So they got to always protect their land, protect their money. And always kill over those things that they can get a hundred times. You see, our thinking, we can get this over and over and over and over and over and over. You see? We get these same material things a thousand times over. That's my thinking. So, so when I be dropping stuff, even if it's a camera, I might be like, oh, I dropped my camera. But I don't, I don't go on and on and on because I know I can get it again. I be like, oh, I get it again. But I know people, when they drop it, they be like, oh, my camera. Oh, they go complain about it all day. So eat their soul. Because they got to realize that they can get it again. They got to find a way to get it back, get another one. Because material stuff don't last. Your ego don't last. Your anger don't last. Your lust don't last. And lust only make you lust, keep lusting and lusting and lusting. Lust. So what you lust for, for one thing, you want another thing. But the spirit is the only thing that's the most powerful and that's internal and that's forever and that's strong. They give you the power. When I think about myself, I think of myself as spirit. I go to smiling. I feel so good because you know who you are in any situation. You got to realize, okay, when you go through it, you might have the aunt or something or even a gemstone, anything to remind you. Or you might can remind yourself, say, hold up. Or you have a great concept in your mind. Hold up. I'm part of something great. Why well, I'm tripping about this and tripping about that. And then I go to smile and I go to, that big, my smile be so wide because I feel so good, beautiful people. Once you know yourself, you're powerful. Nothing can stop us, beautiful people. And I love this crunkness, this crunkness I have, all this energy. I use it for a good light, be creative. I even create my own hobbies. You see it all the time. So that's what you have to do. Put your own hobby, something to put you in therapy. Everything is therapeutic. So I'm about to get up off here, beautiful people. It's, I can't let bring this light. This is what it be. I say share it, share it, share it.